Hey there Shadow Wiz, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Things are getting crazy, look at all of this rain. In the last episode we witnessed Archie, the leader of Team Aqua, reviving the evil Kyogre. Well not the evil, the power hungry Kyogre. As power hungry as Archie is. So, yep, he's going to Pseudopolis in order to get more power, and now we need to stop him. So that is where we are headed today, Pseudopolis City. Here it is, Pseudopolis. Now, how do we get inside? I know exactly how to get inside. First of all, we have to dive. Down we go into the depths of the ocean of Route 126. Yes, there we go. This is going to be great. We are going to take on Kyogre. It's going to be so much fun. I seriously can't wait. Okay, let's go up. Light is filtering down from above. Would you like to return to the surface? I would love to, yes. Mr. Kips used dive. Awesome! That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Kips. Okay, sweet, we're here. I really hope in the future games of Pokemon, they keep dive as an HM, because it's only used in two of the main series games, Pokemon Black and Pokemon uh, Alpha, and <laughs> Alpha and Sapphire. Pokemon... Black and White, and Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. And yeah, I'd really like to see Dive more, because that's my favorite HM ever. All the HMs suck, they're just stupid field moves. Dive is like, we're going to a whole new world. Anyway, I don't think the gym is open right now. We saw the gym as soon as we came in. I didn't uh, talk about it, but here it is right here. Um, Let's see, the door is closed, yes. This is no time to be facing a gym. That would be incredibly stupid of us. We need to go and face Kyogre. Let's get on my bike, let's get on my bike. I don't know why I said it like that, that's quite weird. Oh, I see Steven, hello. And some other guy, Chaot. So you did come, I have been waiting for you. What terrible rain. It feels as though the entire world will be washed away. Ah, uh, yes. You need to hear what my friend has to say. Okay, sure. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who is this guy? Oh, my name is Wallace. Um, I'm the gym leader of Pseudopolis City, I think it said. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This downpour is being caused by a power emanating from the Cave of Origin. That is the Red Orb. I see. Follow me. Okay. We're going on an adventure, do 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 Oh, Steven. What's going on, Steven? This rain. People in Pokemon need water to live. So why does this rain fill us with so much dread? Humans can't take this much water, you crazy fool. The rain clouds massing over Pseudopolis keep building. Soon they will extend all over Hoenn. If that were to happen... And we just keep on walking. If that were to happen, what, Steven? Don't keep us waiting like that, stupid guy. Anyway, oh look, it's Archie, Maxie, and Shelly. I like the way that building looks. It looks really cool. It looks kind of like a face with teeth. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We have been expecting you. Archie, I'm going to hand over that thing we developed to this kid. All right? Yes. The Aqua Suit, take it! Oh! Cool! Hey, we got an Aqua Suit, thank you so much! I don't know what it is. This super high performance protective suit was made with the combined technology of the Devon Corporation and Team Aqua. We actually prepared it in anticipation of coming into contact with Kyogre. I'll just leave it with you. But... Even if you put that thing on, do you really think you'll be able to make it all the way down to where Kyogre waits? The energy overflowing from the shrine is certainly much more powerful than we had anticipated. Its influence is making the current grow stronger. There is nothing to fear. The red orb he bears. Its ancient powers will protect both the boy and his Pokémon. Huh, <laughs> so that's it. Now that you mention it, I do remember the elderly couple at Mount Pyre saying such. The blue orb is, a ca is capable of releasing Kyogre's full power, of reverting it to its primal form, while the red orb has the power to quell that flood of power. Yes, the energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. 
It is the very energy that gives Kyogre its power. With the red orb, which contains the power to suppress that, it should be possible to calm the force of this great flood. Of course, the red orb's power alone will not lead you to where Kyogre waits. You will not reach Hoenn's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. Chaot, to think that you had the red orb, you'll be okay. You and your Pokémon can handle it. Whatever happens, I believe that. No man or woman from Pseudopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go, together with your red orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside that cave. We will also work to mobilize our team members and offer help to the people and Pokémon who are suffering most due to this disaster. Now is the time when we all must simply do the best that we can within our own chosen roles. And you, child. No, you are not acting as a mere child today. Trainer, I am sorry to say that we have put the greatest burden on your shoulders alone. But I trust you to take care of this. Sorry. I'm begging, so save us, the world, and Kyogre. Sure thing! I can do this easy peasy. Oh, it's May! Chaot! I heard on the news that things were going haywire around Pseudopolis, and then I saw you on the bus nav, Chaot! I couldn't just sit there and do nothing when I knew you were here to in the thick of it, so I came flying! Oh my gosh, I can't read today! Holy crap! Boah! Isn't that Team Aqua? And Team Magma? Okay, can I just say that I am, like, totally shocked and confused on so many levels right now? This is probably something way bigger than I can ever imagine, isn't it? So I'm not even going to ask right now. I'm going to try to find what I can do to help, and then I'm going to do my best with that. And I'm going to keep on hoping and believing that you'll be okay out there, Chaot. Because... Because you, you're the best friend I have. Oh, that's so cute. You're my best friend too, May. <laughs> Did she just friends on me? <laughs> I'm gonna cry tonight. Okay, anyway, in we go! Oh my gosh, open sesame! In we go, guys. Oh, look at this, no more rain. It's nice and dry in here. Cave of Origin! Tiki torches, that's cool. Oh, oh, I thought that was just a hole that you jump into. That would be crazy. Here's a big hole that you shouldn't jump into. Yes, use that. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> Do you want to use a Max Repel? Yes. Okay, here's a wild Pokemon for you. What the heck? Am I weak to you or something? Oh, I'm a lower level than you. I mean, I'm an exact level to you. So I need to switch into a stronger Pokemon so that this doesn't happen again. So I'm going to switch into Exploud, I think. That's my strongest Pokemon. So, boop, there we go. Now we definitely won't run into Pokemon. Away we go. Whoa. Holy crap, earthquakes! Crazy! So this is Kyogre's power. Let's see which way to go down all these steps. Oh no, another earthquake! Whoa! Loud? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Oh, the fog. That means things are gonna get interesting. Oh man, all of these earthquakes. Ah! Uh, stop! <laughs> How do I stay on my bike like this? Okay, time to get off the bike. Uh, this way, oh man, oh no, uh, so big, gosh, those earthquakes are ginormous, oh, more and more, oh my gosh, that sound, it's terrifying, look at this, whoa, oh my gosh, wait, where's Kyogre, oh, we gotta dive in, I think, oh my gosh, look, it's the Aqua Suit! Whoa! Chaos changed into the Aqua Suit! I said that so weird. <laughs> Chaos fitted the suit with the red orb. Whoa! Holy crap! This is so cool! Now what? <gasps> this Kyogre! You can hear a voice from within the Aqua Suit. Hey, you read me, little scab? Aye, it's me, Archie. 
There's a device built into that suit that lets me talk to you. We're getting readings up there that looks as though Kyogre's appeared. I guess you're- I guess you're staring right at it, if I'm not mistaken. Don't be afraid, Scamp. You leap right onto that beastie's back. Then let the <laughs> Oh no! The connection was lost. Oh crap. We just gotta jump on it. Okay. Did we make it? I think we made it. Oh, look at us riding on Kyogre. How cool is this? Oh, whoa. The currents down here are so strong. Thank goodness for this aqua suit. You can handle this, dude. Oh. Oh, man, we're going into the light. Whoa. Holy nuggets, man. What is that thing? It's like a crystal or something. Well, there we are. We're finally here. <laughs> oh, we can move around now? Oh, there's a cave in here. Let's check it out. Whoa. What the? I'll go in here later. Let's forget about that for now. Wow, that was weird. Anyway, we're down here now. How cool is this? Huh. Okay, let's talk to Kyogre. Whoa, that's a cool sight. Check that out. Alright. <laughs> let's talk to Kyogre. God, everybody! It's Primal Kyogre! Oh, do you guys think we can beat him? Oh my gosh, Primordial City! A heavy rain began to fall. Okay. This is gonna be our biggest challenge yet! I'm gonna start off with Hyper Voice. Should we try and catch it, or should I just murder it in cold blood? Aqua Ring, what does that do? A Veil of Water. Oh! Hey, it heals you! That's a cool move, I like that move. Okay, let's try, wait, what does this move do? Oh, huh, okay, let's try Synchronize. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Okay, Synchronize is a move that does damage to the Pokemon depending on the area you're in. So, in this case, it would be Water-type damage. I guess, in hindsight, that's a pretty stupid move to use on a Kyogre in a watery cave thing. But there we go, crunch time. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Origin Pulse, what? Oh no, Explode! No! Dude! Oh crap! Explode died. Oh my goodness. Okay, next Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into Mr. Kips. My Pokemon are fit for this. Oh, I could use a Grass type around now. Okay, we need a Mega Evolve for this. I'm thinking Rock Slide. Okay, Mega Evolution time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, do you think we could take on this dude? I'm not sure if we can. He's so strong. Okay, Mega Swampert, you got this. Oh no, not Body Slam. Uh, okay, that didn't hurt as much. Thank goodness, a critical hit too. Oh no, we're paralyzed. That's bad. Rock Slide, baby, let's do this thing. Do lots of damage for Papa. Oh, yes, that did lots of damage. Perfect. I know it doesn't look like much to you guys, but to a legendary Pokemon, it's like 
flying a plane into it or something. Kaboom, it's crazy. Oh no, not Ice Beam. Come on, don't mess with me like that. Mud Bomb, no. Why did you freaking avoid it? Darn. Okay, Mud Bomb time again. Again. This won't kill me, I don't think. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought wrong. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh man. What I would do for a move like False Swipe or Hyper Beam or something. Okay, let's go into Blinked Out this time. Not a very strong Pokemon. I might end up having to throw a, a Master Ball against this guy. Okay. What's stronger, Zen Headbutt or Psybeam? Zen Headbutt is. Okay, Zen Headbutt time. Yes. Don't kill it though. Oh, that did no damage. Oh, and he's just gonna get it back. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay. What is Psych Up? Copying any stat change made by the target. Uh, what about Teeter Dats? Oh, confuses the Pokemon around it. Okay. If we can confuse Kyogre, that'll help us greatly if this doesn't kill us, please. Okay, thank goodness. Here we go. Yes, get confused, sucker. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's getting that HP back, though. Okay, let's use... It hasn't changed any of its stats, though, so I can't use Psychub. We'll use Psybeam this time. See how much damage that does. Yes, it hurt itself. Perfect. Okay, Psybeam. See how much this does. Oh, oh, that did quite a bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and uh, throw out an Ultra Ball or something. Maybe a Dusk Ball would be good. What's a Nest Ball? No, it's the Net Ball that I need in order to... Oh, Dive Ball? Okay, nope, we'll just use Dusk Ball since we're in a dark cave. Please catch it! I'm tapping A as fast as I can even though it doesn't help. One! No, darn! Okay, that's bad. This is gonna be tough. Oh boy. Oh, it was... No! No! This is gonna hurt a lot! Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my god. I have to switch out, otherwise I might just kill it on my next turn. Um, okay, Aerosol, it's your turn. I might kill it if it gets hit by that Rocky Helmet again, but I saw how much damage it took, and it took quite a lot, so I think I'm gonna try and throw an Ultra Ball. Oh no, Ice Beam. Wait, that won't hurt that much, will it? Nope. Not enough, you're gonna have to hit me with three of those in order to get me down. Okay, let's try this out. Ultra Ball time. Please work. Tapping A as fast as I can. Uh, we gotta get this Pokemon. One, two. No, darn, we were so close. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, crap, no. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, you are getting your health up crazy much. Okay, let's try out um, another Ultra Ball. We've got this, everybody. Once I'm down to my last Pokemon, I will use a Master Ball. Oh no, it just completely got rid of that. Darn. Okay, Ice Beam again. Oh no, there goes my cast form. It's okay, we still have Embor and the other dude. What's his face? Uh, the psychic type that I have blinked out or whatever. Oh my gosh, he's almost up to half health again. Okay, wait, no, we still have three Pokemon left. We have Team Rocket. I completely forgot. Okay, let's go into blinked out. We've got this. Blinked out can do some severe damage to it. Hopefully, the damage isn't enough to murder it, but here we go. Let's try this again. Ultra Ball. Please, 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 please. Come on. One. Two. Darn! Oh, I was so close! Okay. Almost had it. Yep, Aqua Ring. Okay, looks like we live to see another day. Let's try another uh, Ultra Ball. I really want to catch this Kyogre. That'll be really cool. It'll be super strong on my team. Okay. Nope, he completely broke out of it. Completely. Uh, what is wrong with me? Body Slam. Okay, this will do a lot of damage to him as well. Oh boy, hopefully it doesn't kill it. Oh. It did hardly any damage to it. Maybe it's dependent on how much HP it takes away from me. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, we can now go into Embor. No. Yes, Embor. 
Even though Ambor is a flying type, <laughs> excuse me, a fire type, I feel like it can hold its own against Kyogre for at least two turns. Something like that. Okay, I have three more Ultra Balls. Let's try this again. Please catch the Pokemon. Uh, one. No! Oh, damn! <laughs> so close! Not really. Okay, Body Slam, okay. This might almost kill me. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy crap. That didn't do much at all. Stupid Pokemon restoring its health and such. Okay, Ultra Ball. Oh, man. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. One. Two. No! Oh, darn, I got so excited. Damn it. Okay, almost had it. That was so close. Oh, hey, it failed to move. That's cool. I think... Do I have a max revive by any chance? Revive, normal revive. Uh, I have a revival herb. Okay, I'll use that on uh, Blinged Out. Okay, there we go. It's recovered from fainting, so I'm going to go into Blinged Out. So, if Kyogre uses Body Slam on Blinged Out, we will be home free, guys. Oh my gosh, it'll get so much damage on it. There we go, Blinked Out, cool. And remember, Body Slam won't kill Blinked Out. It's already tried to do that, but it doesn't work. Um, I'm gonna use another Revival Herb on Exploud. I really want to catch this without a Master Ball. I've, uh, I've never... I caught um, Groudon without a Master Ball, and I used my Master Ball on a different um, legendary Pokemon. Let's see. I think... I think I'll use Teeter Dance. Let's do that. Origin Pulse. Oh no, I completely forgot about this move. Oh crap. No, no. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. That did too much. It's almost at full health again. Okay, I'm sending out Exploud and I'm gonna do a little bit of damage to Kyogre. Alright, Exploud, it's all you, dude. Hmm. Hyper Voice is my best bet right now. Okay, Hyper Voice time. Do lots of damage. Yes, yeah, so much damage. And it failed on the Alcoa Ring as well. Hopefully I don't get anything like a critical hit because that'll be terrible. Okay... Yes, that did so much damage. Okay. Perfect. I think it's time to throw another Master Ball. I mean, no, not a Master Ball, please! An Ultra Ball. Okay, I only have one of these left. Please work, please work, please work, please work. One. No! Darn! Okay. What if I just try a completely out there... Um... Pokeball. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Ah, uh, no! Darn! That was a critical hit, too. Stupid Pokemon. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to throw a Master Ball, guys. Oh man, after all of this work, too. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, let's try another Revival Herb. We'll use that against. I mean, on Mr. Kips or Explode. Mr. Kips is the best choice. Please use Aqua Ring or something. No, okay, this is gonna hurt. Uh, uh, damn it. Oh no, poor Team Rocket. Okay, let's send in Mr. Kips. Mr. Kips, I know at least can hold its own against this Kyogre. Uh, I can't Mega Evolve it anymore, which, which sucks. I have a few revives as well that I can use, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a revive on, uh, blinged out. Good choice? I think so. Okay, body slam. That might hurt a little bit. Oh, wow, yeah, it really hurt a little bit. <laughs> it didn't hurt much at all, holy crap. Okay, now I can use another revive on someone else, like, uh, x -Bloud again. Okay, please don't use Origin Pulse. Ice Beam, okay, perfect. That's gonna do nothing to me, dude. Nothing. Alright, now that I have two Pokemon revived, I can go ahead and use a move on this guy. Let's see... Dive, would that be good? No, because it's a water type, so that'd be terrible. Okay, Mud Bomb. No! No, please don't! Oh, crap. Oh, gee, that, that hurts a lot. Okay, we have two more Pokemon that can help us right now. I'm gonna switch into Blinked Out. That Rocky Helmet will really help me out. I really don't feel the need to 
um, use an Ultra Ball right now, so I'm going to use a Revive. Let's see... Mr. Kips, again. Okay, there we go. Body Slam, okay, this is gonna hurt him a lot. Yes! Oh, that didn't hurt him much at all, what? How did it hurt so much the first time? I have no idea, but I think we need to give this a few more shots, and if I can't do this, then that's too bad. We'll go into x -Bloud, and then hopefully it uses Ice Beam or something, that'll be perfect. Hyper Voice, come on! Yes, there we go. Okay, this'll hurt a little, 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 it'll hurt it a little bit, or no darn Origin Pulse! Oh no, that hurts. Okay. It's so low on health too, look at that! No, it's just gonna go up. No, no! What on earth? I ran. I ran from it. <laughs> All of that worked for nothing. Okay, we're throwing a massive ball at it. It was inevitable. This was gonna happen anyway. Let's do this thing. I can't believe it would give you a run option in freaking in a freaking legendary battle. What the heck? Anyway, we have to watch through this again. I'm gonna skip through it. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, everybody, here we are. I'm just gonna throw a Master Ball at it. I can't believe I ran from this Pokemon. What is wrong with me? Okay. Uh, Primordial C, there it is. Cool, that will be gone shortly. Bag. Pokeballs. And now, the main event, Master Ball. I was going to save this for a later Legendary, but I guess not. Okay, well. This is a definite catch. I didn't have to use a Master Ball on Groudon. Why did I have to use one on this one? Darn everything. Oh well, there's Kyogre for ya. I can't believe I just wasted all of that time. Oh well, there we go. The Sea Basin Pokemon Kyogre, type Water. Cool! Kyogre is said to be the personification of the sea itself. Legend tells of its many clashes against Groudon, as each sought to gain the power of nature. Cool! Give a nickname to the Kyogre you caught- No, I don't nickname legendaries. Don't you dare nickname a legendary. Everybody, we did it! We saved the whole world! From a huge disaster! Oh, look at that, Evergrande City! Wally! Hello, buddy! Oh my gosh, look at those sparkles! I can't believe I just did that! It was a hard, long, arduous battle! against the Kyogre that refused to get caught. But we caught it! And in the process, we saved the world. I can't believe we've done this. We've gotten so far in this game, everybody. Isn't that the rocket ship that just went flying into the sky during the cutscene earlier? Oh! Huh? Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all of those sparkles! Chaot! It's really over, isn't it? Chaot, we owe you great thanks! Look above you! The sky over Pseudopolis has returned to normal. I wouldn't call sparkles falling out of the clouds normal. The power which had been pulling within the Cave of Origin is now flowing back into the world. I don't know why I said it like that. It's so warm. Just now my heart felt like it was about to be crushed by uncertainty and terror, but now it feels like it's being softly set at ease. The land, or the sea, humans, or Pokemon, 
When we sought to bring happiness to only one, we nearly destroyed both. Now the world's balance is restored to its natural state. Perhaps this is the time we must reconsider our ideals. Do you not agree? Archie. Yeah, you're right. Maxi. what you're saying is only neutral. I know that, but still, I can't just change the world I believe to be ideal. The kind of world that I dreamed of making where I could live alongside my beloved Pokemon. That hasn't changed. I know I've got nothing to stand on, causing this much hurt, but... That's right. You caused a big fuss there when you almost brought about the downfall of the world, you big dolt. No matter how much you beg, no one can forgive that. But do you really need their forgiveness, though? Even if you are a big dolt with who no one in the world will ever forgive, I'll... I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you forever. So please, stop going out on your own and acting crazy. You're our Team Aqua's leader. And we're your friends, after all. Shelly, sorry, and thanks. Huh. <sighs> we adults have a duty to pass this world along to the next generation. A world's worth passing along. What is it we truly need to do to create such a world? Take each other's hand in friendship or fight for the right of supremacy? I think it is time we consider this again with our, own, with our team members and break down the wall between us. Alright, you little skep. You managed to use that red orb. So now let's see you try this on for size. If you give it to Kyogre, you should be able to control its primal reversion. Sweet! We got it! We got the blue orb! Farewell. See ya. It was nice meeting you all! See you later! Team Magma and Team Aqua are made up of people with completely opposing ideals and goals. But perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, one small concession at a time. I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but... I hope this crisis might at least help them take the first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you will be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes, and revel in its newness in your own heart. But for the present, you may first wish to challenge this city's Pokémon Gym. There you'll find the very same Wallace who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. Yay, we got the Eon Flute! Thank you, Steven! This Eon Flute is proof of the bond between you and your Latias. No matter how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latias will surely fly straight to you. Then it can take to the sky, soaring above the land with you astride its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latias and Latios at Southern Island. People, Pokemon, nature itself, our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I have just began to understand that, and I'm wondering how this world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an inexplicable excitement. Chaot, as you and your Pokémon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. What will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answers you've found. Until then! See you later, Steven! Phew! And it's finally just the two of us again. So, I've got to say, thanks for everything you've done for our region, Chaot. You know, I thought we were supposed to have set out from Little Root together, but... But you, Chaot, it seems like you just keep getting further and further ahead of me. And I even started to feel like you'd gone somewhere that I can't even reach. It's pretty lonely, you know? Not... What would you think if I really said something like that? 
Anyway, you did something really amazing today, so try to take it easy for a while. See you later! Oh, poor May, she feels lonely! Oh, I'm sorry, May. No, oh, man. Maybe if I battle her, she'll feel better. Anyway, it's all done! We finished the game! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everything is over. The long, arduous task of saving the world all in a day's work is over. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like button. If you like my content and want to be notified whenever I post a video, click the big red subscribe button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click on one of the white squares in the middle. On the bottom, you'll see my schedule for posting videos too. Thanks for watching.